When it comes to planting out your spring veggie garden, one thing you might want to consider is the time it takes from planting to harvesting. So let's touch on the quick to harvest varieties. We're talking about things like lettuce and spinach, beans and cucumbers. Crops that will harvest in around six to eight weeks. Longer term crops like tomatoes, you know, you can be waiting 10, 12 weeks. So there's a couple of really important take home points when it comes to quick harvest vegetables. Number one is nutrition and number two is spacing. We need to make sure we get the spacing right because there's gonna be no time really between planting and harvesting to make any last minute adjustments. So with your faster growing crops like your lettuce and your spinaches and your beans, one thing to really keep in mind with those crops is fertilizer. You need to be giving fast cropping varieties a good liquid feed every three to four days. Now that can vary depending on the conditions. So if you're unsure exactly what your feeding program should look like, duck down to your local garden centre, they'll be able to give you some great advice on what type of fertiliser will be best for your situation. So when it comes to planting out, check the spacing and the height of the variety on the front of the label here. So what, what we're using today is Bean Bonaparte and uh, that has a spacing of uh, 50 centimetres. So you gently tip them out of the container, prise apart the, the seedling, and in we go. Now this is not a very wide veggie patch, so we might encroach a little bit on the 50 centimetres. So we're gonna go one at the front, and then a couple more across the back and one here in the front. So as you can see, we're probably about 40 centimetres or thereabouts, and that's okay. Ideally, it should be around 50 centimetres for this particular variety. So do check your spacings before planting out. So when it comes to planting your veggie patch this season, certainly include some quick growing crops so you're not having to wait around too long before you're harvesting, and then also select some longer term crops as well. With both, you're gonna have a really good, bountiful patch that's gonna yield throughout the entire season. All the best.